but I'm grateful I'm now. If you see me out of town, hope I'm well enough. Lost my mind to this cup, it's in purple now. For the store, they run out of spread a wow. I don't feel good when I'm high, I can't touch the sky. If I die, let on night, know that I was high. Cry so many nights. If physical retail is dead, Foot Locker certainly didn't get the memo. So pretty much this is how the article starting off. It says the chain sneaker store, which celebrated its 50th anniversary this year, sent a strong signal to brick and mortar stores, which that's what they call the foot stores, right? Um, still matter with the August reopening of its 34th Street location in NYC. Um, the store, long a hub for high heat drops and um, for, uh, for nasal lineups, has interactive stations very few okay so we had talked about them doing those type of stores where i guess are you this is my thing it looks like a self-checkout from like the screen or whatever but i feel like they still got to have somebody behind the fucking counter it just looks more modernized and what you guys can see up on the screen in the uh background real quick and what i would have on a thumbnail is like um almost they got one of those display glass cases up front too like i'm very curious what the fuck they're gonna keep in there there's a crep uh protect station to the right makes sense but with me to be honest i feel like i would have tried i don't know how long the crep protect contract is with them but it would be nice to see if they can throw some rejuvenator because i feel like they're just as on a level because i don't hear people talk about crep protect yeah. i really don't crep, crep is they they haven't worked on they haven't worked on their promotional ads you know yeah, and I guess maybe with them having that station and Foot Locker, it's like a gimme. So they feel like they, you know, I don't know why not. I think I'll be going to think I'll be